This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Greetings. I am Elder Larry Elston. And I'm Elder Stephanie Elston. And we welcome you again to Friday's Midday Mealtime Review. And from our great Bishop Marcus Aaron Johnson, Sr. of the New Harvest Ministries, we welcome you again to this great feast. And I will just ask you today, would you hit that like button when you get an opportunity to? And also, if you are not a subscriber, please think on subscribing to this station. And we thank you for your diligence, how you're here every day. And Bishop's teaching is making us grow to another level. So we thank God for it. Now let us pray and bless this review today. Dear Lord, we come to say thank you. First of all, we thank you for your grace and mercy. And God, we thank you for keeping us all the week. And we thank you for bringing us up to this present time. And Lord, as we look to you to keep on putting into us what we need, God, help us to grow, Lord, and to also show, that is to show others how great thou art. Mm -hmm. We thank you for keeping us, God. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. And as I said, welcome again to this Friday's Mealtime Review. Mm -hmm. And our theme, we're going with our theme for the church. It was living to see increase. Amen. We mm -hmm. are living to see increase. Yes. And our scripture we come from is Psalm 27, verses 13 through 14. Now, Bishop has been teaching us from this series, the gifts of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. The gifts of the Spirit. What a great teaching and lesson we've been having and we're learning so much. Thank you, Bishop. And the title is Paul's Teaching on Spiritual Gifts. Mm -hmm. And this is Monday and Tuesday's title. Mm -hmm. Paul's Teaching on Spiritual Gifts. Amen. From 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. Mm -hmm. It reads as thus, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Thank the Lord. Say, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. that I'm not ignorant. Thank you, Lord. thank you for teaching us. What is our review takeaway that Bishop gave us? God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are one. Amen. Mm -hmm. God is the source of all spiritual gifts. Amen. Amen. Number three, God's purpose is unified in the distribution of all the spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. Amen. Number four, God should be glori glorified in the uses of all the spiritual gifts. Don't forget to give him the glory. Amen. Number five, the body of Christ is one and should be edified in the usage of all the spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let us edify the body. Mm -hmm. Bishop gave us highlight number one. Paul's teaching on spiritual gifts instructs that the unified body of Christ consists of many members placed by God to perform various roles. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians 12, 4 through 6 tells us this. Now, there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, mm -hmm. but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is in the same God which worketh all in all. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. amen. Highlight number two. Paul's teaching on spiritual gifts instructs the more desirable members within the body to give greater attention to the less desirable members to avoid schisms and dysfunctions. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody say amen. Because mm -hmm. we want to avoid those things That's in right. the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians 12, 24 through 25 says, For our comely parts have no need 
but God had tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked, that there should be no schisms in the body, but that the members should have the same care for one another. Mm -hmm. Teach us how to love, Lord, mm -hmm. one another. Highlight number three, Paul's teaching on spiritual gifts instructs that no member of the body of Christ have all the spiritual gifts. Amen. We don't mm -hmm. have them all, but use what we have. Mm -hmm. Amen. First Corinthians 12, 29 through 30. Are all apostles? This is the question. Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Have all the gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? Amen. And the answer to that is, no, all do not. <laughs> Highlight number four. Paul's teaching on spiritual gifts instructs that each member of the body must function by Christian virtues, namely love to optimize its performance. Love is the optimizer. Amen. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians 13 and 13. And now abided faith, hope, charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity, which is love, we know, y'all. Yes. So then Bishop finishes up this title today, this lesson, with tip number four. Let's remember, considering all the greatness of the spiritual gifts. Love causes a member of the body with their gifts to function and complement one another. So there's no complimenting if there's not love. Amen. Amen. Ephesians 4, 15 through 16. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. He's the head, church from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody say, in love. Mm -hmm. So write it, please. In love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to move on into Wednesday's lesson. Amen. From this series, The Gifts of the Spirit. And Wednesday's lesson title is Paul's Teaching on Spiritual Gifts, Part 2. Amen. What a great foundation in, in the Monday and Tuesday lesson. Mm -hmm. And now... We're going to look at, from the text, 1 Corinthians 12, 1, which says, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. So our review of the teaching from Paul's instructions that the unified body of Christ consists of many members. Amen but they're placed by God mm -hmm. to, perform, to perform various roles. Yes. So we don't all do the same thing. Come on. The most desirable members within the body are to give greater attention to the less desirable members to avoid schisms and dysfunctions. Yes, yes. No member of the body has all the spiritual gifts, so there is no star. Mm-hmm. Everybody has to contribute mm -hmm. what God has given as a gift. Yeah. Each member of the body must function by Christian virtues, namely love, to optimize its performance. Now let's look at 1 Corinthians 12, 8 through 10. It says, For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, mm -hmm. To another, the word of knowledge by the same spirit. To another, faith by the same spirit. To another, gifts of the heal, gifts of healing by the same spirit. To another, workings of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. 
to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. So we're going to look at these each individually and Bishop explain mm -hmm. what they really mean. One, the gift of wisdom is a special grasp of divine insights for application and resolving various situations. The example from that was the prophet in 2 Kings 4, 3 through 7, instructed the widow to borrow empty vessels to hold oil that would sustain her household. Mm -hmm. The second gift is the word of knowledge and mm -hmm. it's a special ability to divinely know facts, secrets, and needs of people. From 1 Corinthians 2, 6 through 7 and 10. Albeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, mm -hmm. yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom mm. which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Amen. Verse 10, but God had revealed them to us by his spirit. So we can't do any of this without the Spirit, mm. Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Search of all things, the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Yes. We find that example in Matthew 2, 8 through 12, where the wise men were warned by God in a dream to not return to Herod after they visited the young child and presented mm -hmm. their gifts unto him. Mm -hmm. So everything is explained in the Bible um, through the various stories. Highlight number three, the gift of faith. is the supernatural ability to believe God for the impossible. Mm -hmm. Matthew 17, 19 through 20. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto him, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say to you, If you have faith, as a grain of a mustard seed, yeah. you should say to this mountain, remove hence to yonder, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Amen. Matthew 14, 26 through 29 is where Peter walked on the water to go to Jesus. Yes. We can move mountains, mm -hmm. but we must believe. The fourth gift, the healing gift of healing. The gift of healing is a supernatural acceleration of physical, emotional, or spiritual recovery. Mm. Matthew 10 and 1. When he called upon him, his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Yes, yes. That is found in Acts 5, 12 through 16, where the apostles performed many signs and wonders among the people, mm. and they were healed, Amen. every one. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, yes, for your healing yes, gift. Yes, yes. I like number five. The workings of miracles are supernatural divine occurrences mm -hmm. that divide, defy the natural law of science. Mm. Acts 8, 6 through 7. And the people with one accord gave heed unto these things which Philip spoke, mm -hmm. hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Mm -hmm. For unclean spirits crying with loud voice came out of many mm -hmm. that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies, and that were lame were healed. Yes. Hallelujah. 
Yes. Now we see this in real time in Acts 9, 36, 41. Peter prayed for the sick disciple, Tabitha, who died. She opened her eyes and when she saw Peter, she sat up and was alive. Peter prayed. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We got to pray. Got to pray. Amen. 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 We can see the sick get up. That's right. Hallelujah. I like number six. The gift of prophecy is the next gift. And it is the supernatural ability to tell for preaching mm -hmm. and to foretell, predict future events. Amen. Acts 2, 17 through 18. And it shall come to pass in the last days, said God. Mm. I will pour out my spirit upon us. All flesh. Yes, yes. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. Amen. And on my servants and on my handmaids I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Joel talked about that. Mm -hmm. An example in Acts 11, 27, and 30, Agab Agabus, a prophet, mm -hmm. predicted a great famine ahead, which allowed the disciples to send relief to the brethren in Judah. Mm -hmm. Almost there. I like number seven, which is another spiritual gift. Mm -hmm. The gift of discerning spirits. Mm -hmm. It's the supernatural ability to identify the source and operating spirit, whether good or bad. The example, Acts 5, 1 through 11, Peter knew Ananias and his wife Sapphira were not truthful regarding the price of the land that they had sold. Mm. So supernatural, and you know by the spirit whether it's the truth or a lie. Amen. Highlight number eight is the gift of divers' tongues. Mm. That is the supernatural ability to speak unlearned languages by the Holy Spirit. Wow. Acts 2 and 4. And when they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues, mm. as the Spirit gave them utterance. Mm. That example is in Mark 16, 17. Signs follow believers and they cast out devils and mm. spoke with new tongues. Wow. Last gift, number nine, the gift of the interpretation of tongues. Mm -hmm. It's a supernatural ability to translate unknown tongues to a native language. Wow. 1 Corinthians 14, 13. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. Amen. The example was Acts 10, 44 through 46. Mm -hmm. That's where the Holy Ghost fell upon the Jew, Gentiles mm -hmm. and those who were already converts heard them speak with tongues and magnified God. Mm. Amen. 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 And as we move on to Thursday's lesson, we thank God for the this great teaching Amen. on the spiritual gifts from Bishop. They, it is so great that it's expanding our knowledge on our own gifts. So that's, that's what I'm thankful for. Amen. how I can use my gift in the body of Christ Amen. and why. And now our text is from still from 1 Corinthians 12 and 1, mm -hmm. but the title of this lesson on Thursday is Paul's Teaching on Spiritual Gifts, Part 3. Mm -hmm. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the highlight review of the spiritual gifts with words of wisdom is divine insight for application and resolving situations. Mm -hmm. Then the word of knowledge, divine knowledge of facts, secrets, 
and needs of people. Mm -hmm. Gift of faith, a supernatural ability to believe God for the impossible. Gifts of healing is acceleration of physical, emotion, and spiritual recovery. Miracles, occurrences that defy the natural laws of science. And prophecy is to tell forth, preach, and to foretell, predict future events. Mm -hmm. Discerning of spirits to identify the spiritual source at work, mm -hmm. good or bad. Diver's tongue, speaking unlearned language by the Holy Spirit. Interpretation of tongues, supernaturally translating unknown tongues from native languages. Mm -hmm. Romans 12, 6 to 8, mm -hmm. say, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, well, the prophecy, let us prophesy mm -hmm. according to the proportion of faith. Our ministry, let us wait on ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching. Mm -hmm. Or he that exhorted in egg, on, on exhortation, he that give it, let him do it with simplicity. Mm -hmm. He that rule it with diligence, and he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. And highlight number one is prophecy is to tell forth, preach, and foretell, predict future events. And we'll look at Acts. It shall come to pass, Acts 2, 17 through 18. Say, it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Mm -hmm. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall dream dreams. Amen. Now, Bishop gave us examples. And due to time, I'm just going to give you the, the scripture verse of the example. And if you want to, you can look it up yourself. Acts 11, 27 through 30. Mm -hmm. Then highlight number two, ministry is to supernaturally serve and host others like a deacon. Mm -hmm. Amen. Matthew 20 and 26 said, but Jesus called unto him and said, ye know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them, mm -hmm. and they that are great exercise authority upon them. But it shall not be so among you. But whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. Mm -hmm. Now, in that example, you can look up Luke 10, 38 through 42. Then highlight number three said, teaching is the ability to explain and break down the message. Yes. First Corinthians 12, 28 to 29. For though you have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet have you not many fathers. Mm. For in Christ Jesus, I have begotten you through the gospel. Mm. And that example you can look up is Luke 24. 44, verses 44 through 45. Mm -hmm. Then highlight number four. Exhorting is the ability to encourage others with charm and grace. First Thessalonians 5, 11. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. Mm -hmm. That example is from Acts 15, Chapter 15, verses 30 through 33. Amen. Highlight number five given to us by Bishop is giving is the supernatural ability to give generously and sacrificially. Second Corinthians 9 and 6. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he that soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Mm-hmm. And this example is Mark's 12, 41, verse 41 through 43. Thank you, Lord. Then highlight number six. It tells us ruling or administrating is the supernatural ability to organize and to oversee. Mm -hmm. Acts 20 through 28. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers, to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased 
with his own blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Amen. You, yeah. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This example comes from John 6, 8 through 12. Amen. Then the highlight, number seven, mercy is the supernatural ability to assist, help, and defend those in need. Matthew 5 and 7 says, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Example, Luke 23 and verse 34. And here's our final insight. Mm -hmm. All throughout scriptures, both Old and New Testament, we see the people of God exhibiting virtuous acts of ministry, not even realizing most were walking in their own gifting. So today, church, as spirit-filled believers, we should also pursue operating in our gifting as tools to fulfill our divine assignments. So today it is an assignment. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, amen, Jesus. amen, amen. Praise God. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for the assignment. Yes. And thank you also for the gifts mm -hmm. that we use to fulfill those assignments. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this teaching. Thank we you, thank Lord. you for our bishop. Thank you, Who Lord. diligently teaches us every day yes. from your word. Yes. God, we thank you for his faithfulness yes. to give to us what you've given to him. Mm. God bless him and keep him. And keep us, Lord, on one accord with you mm. in this body of Christ. Thank you, Lord. That we will, God, fulfill our assignments using the gifts, the virtues that you've given us by your Holy Spirit to fulfill your work in your kingdom. And we will give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray and count it done. Amen. 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 Now don't forget to hit that like button. And we love you. Have a love blessed you. one. Have a great day.